Hi, my name's Adam Chapman. I'm a Waka Waka man from Eidsvold, born and bred, uh, and um, my family comes from the uh, Sherberg, Wandai, uh, Eidsvold region. John, a proud Torres Strait Islander man. Hi, I'm Ruth. I'm from Blue Card Services. This video is about restricted persons and restricted employment. Hey Ruth, can you help me? A few of the fellows on the committee at the footy club have been talking about the changes with blue cards. You know, the ones that came in on 31st of August 2020. They're talking about restricted persons and restricted employment. I've never heard of that. Can you help me? Yes, of course. So in the blue card system, there are some people who can rely on an exemption and don't need a blue card to work with kids. For example, a teenager who volunteers with kids at the local footy club or a parent who volunteers at their kid's school. Yes, we also know that people who work with kids less than seven days a year don't need blue cards either, like when we get a guest speaker at the footy club. That's right, John. But it's really important to remember that some people are not allowed to apply for a blue card to work with kids because of their police information. There are also people who cannot apply for a blue card because they have been issued with a negative notice by the blue card mob. Yeah, I've heard people who've been charged with certain offences can never apply for a blue card and people who've been given a negative notice have to wait two years before they can apply to have it cancelled. Yes, that's true, John. So a person who has been convicted of what's called a disqualifying offence, such as choking in a domestic violence situation or rape, been issued with a negative notice, had their blue card suspended or been charged with a disqualifying offence, and the matter hasn't been finalised, they will be referred to as a restricted person. OK, that makes sense. So what does restricted employment mean? Well, the term restricted employment refers to exemptions such as a volunteer parent, a volunteer under the age of 18 years, a person who works with children for less than seven days in a calendar year, and a person who receives services at a disability centre where services are provided to children. So these are the areas where people are currently able to rely on an exemption and don't need a blue card to work with kids, right? Yes, that's right. The new changes make it an offence for a restricted person to work in restricted employment so they cannot rely on this exemption anymore. So how does a person know if they are a restricted person? Well the blue card mob have lots of information about restricted persons and restricted employment on their web page. Plus they can always give us a call and have a yarn with us. If they don't want to have a yarn with us they can always ask someone in their club who knows about the blue cards. This restricted person, restricted employment, could this apply to the people who work and volunteer at the footy club? Where can I find more about this? You can download some of our posters that will help you tell people about this new change. We also have fact sheets and videos on our web page. <laughs> Bad, 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 bad.